Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Verona and instead of talking about today's speed painting, I wanted to discuss a very important art topic. Anybody who is doing digital art probably already know it. It's the question if digital art is even art. The topic is super old and I wanted to state beforehand that I'm both a digital artist and a traditional artist. I do a lot of traditional work, I do a lot of digital artwork. I know both sides, but I do not understand the question to be honest. And now today I wanted to just figure out if digital art is art or if it's not. And we all know the people. There's a lot of people accusing, especially traditional artists, accusing digital artists that they are not doing art. They're just telling you in the comments of Instagram, no, only traditional art is real art. Traditional art is no art. You're not doing art. So I just wanted to discuss, first of all, the topic, what is digital art even? Digital art consists of artworks similar to drawings and paintings and using digital devices like tablets and computers as well as graphic softwares such as Clip Studio or Photoshop or anything else we know. And since most people are currently at home, even before COVID, we were currently at home, and more focused on technology, art just shifted towards digital art. Many people forget that digital art has an impact on modern art. Modern art includes videos, music, website design, logo, free anima animations, illustration, digital adverts, and they are all made by digital artists. Especially digital advertisement is a huge digital artist topic because I know that in Asia it's very popular to have digital adverts with drawings from dig digital artists and they have so many campaigns just are, uh, all around this, this picture drawn by a digital artist in a graphic software such as Clip Studio or Photoshop. And even games consist of so much digital art. So you're basically getting contact with digital art every day. You might not think graphic design is actually the word I search for because digital adverts and 3D animes, animation and such might be the work of a graphic designer. Yes, graphic design and digital artists might be the same. Even so, graphic designers mostly concentrate on communicating an idea. Why digital artists cover a variety of creative careers, such as design video games, 3D modeling, animation pictures, or drawing individual project for projects for clients. This is all the work of a digital artist. I know there are a lot of special terms for 3D modeling artists and animation artists. I do not know all of them. So the question is now, why do people believe that digital art is no art? When all the stuff I just mentioned is art. Most of the people I encounter who are telling other people that digital art is no art or telling me that digital art is no art do not understand how digital art works. And they are giving off the same energy as people standing in an art museum of modern art and telling their friends, I could have done the same. I could have drawn this black square on a white square. I could have done that. Yeah, sure, you could have, but you didn't. And the same energy they, the traditional artist and even the non-artist giving off when telling a digital artist you are not doing art. It's also very, very rude to do that. And most of them do not know how we create art and what is all included as a digital artist. They are especially excluding all the stuff you think a graphic designer do, such as animations, digital uh, adverts, and so on and so on. 
They think that the digital artists just do these three things. They're making art for fun, that we are drawing only for clients and mostly only original artworks and fan art, and we never touch anything about with communication ideas, advertisement games, animations. We do not know anything about basic anatomy or color theory. Yeah, basically we are somebody who does not know anything. The traditional artist and the non-artist believe that we are just starting our computer or tablet, open our drawing software such as Photoshop, and just click three or four keys on our keyboard and boom! Perfect artwork. I wish it would be that easy. I wish I would have just started as an artist having Photoshop just opening it and being like BAM! Perfect artwork. As you currently can see, it's not. It's not. I even needed to open so often reference for how to color leather, how to make leather look good, how to make gold look like gold and not like some blob of light and shades. And it's not cheating. We are not cheating. We are not opening our canvas and just bam, have a perfect artwork. We have, we do not have a cheat code. We, we are not printing our image from our brain in this canvas. Um, while traditional artists have pen, paper and pencil, pastels, charcoals, a canvas, a real brush, Digital artist has a software that the artist can also choose between brushes, mixing color, etc. And yes, a pigment tool gets colors correct, makes it easier to pick correct colors. Yes, a line tool makes it easier to draw a straight line. And yes, we can undo stuff by a click, but traditional artists could mix colors correctly when they know how to. They have rulers to make straight lines or a strong wrist, they can paint over stuff to undo their mistakes. Furthermore, as somebody who does both digital and traditional art, it has both advantages and disadvantages. Yes, digital art has helpful features, making creating art more comfortable, but crashing programs before saving, finding spots on 100 layers that are just destroying the whole piece. Different colors on different devices are only a small amount of things that keep digital artists mad. And while traditional artists do not have these problems, they have others, such as redrawing a whole artwork because of drawing mistakes when you're drawing with pencils, or the color might run out, or the paper tears. In, in conclusion, the advantages traditional artists are telling digital artists and especially this undo cheating matter, it does not exist. All the help in a digital program won't make you a perfect artist nevertheless, who can draw just like Da Vinci uh, when you never even touched a pencil or a brush or do not know how to art. You still need to practice, you still need to learn anatomy. You still need to have wrist strength to make a straight line on tablet or uh, any device you're using. It's super, super, super weird to first of all draw on a, on a tablet. You will not make a straight line. Trust me, you won't. And you need to get to know color theory. You need to know how to shade. You need 3D thinking. You need so much experience and practice. So it just means you need to know the fundamentals to be a skilled artist. It doesn't matter if it is a digital or traditional artist you're becoming. You need to know how to do stuff. You need to know all these things. Color theory, shading, etc. PP. Even furthermore, you, you need to get to know your 
material. Um, it's the same as you are getting to know your materials, such as watercolors, papers, how they work, how the how the watercolors uh, are uh, expanding on certain papers. Um, digital artists need to know need to get to know their uh, programs. They need technical knowledge about their programs. They need to know how it works. It's actually just the same. It's just a different device. It's just a different way of drawing art or, or creating art. It's not, we are not cheating. We do not, bam, have the special skills or anything. If you do not study art or, or try to improve your artwork, you're probably not going to improve anyway. You are this, it's the same on traditional artworks. If you don't practice your art, you won't do anything further than a uh, stick figure. That's it. That's the same on every device, if it's a paper device or a tablet device. And furthermore, most digital artists even start as traditional artists or still doing traditional art. So basically, you're telling them, I do art, but I also don't do art. That's really weird for us. So in conclusion, to answer the question if digital art is art, yes, it is art. It's a different kind of art, just like you're drawing on a canvas or on a paper in reality. And you still need skills, as I said. So yes, it is art. So I really don't understand sometimes the complete, so the problem of this, this topic. And if you want to create digital art, there are a lot of stuff you need to um, get familiar with. You need hardware uh, to, to make it possible to create art. You need the right software. There are a lot of softwares you can use, such as Photoshop, Krita, Clip Studio. There are a lot more. Um, most people use Clip Studio because it has so many great tools to work with. As an artist, I use Photoshop. It's probably the worst thing you could do as an artist, but uh, you just need to get familiar with all of this stuff. And you also need to practice every day or at least a lot of time because you need to get to know anatomy. It's especially helpful to look at tutorials, speed paintings. There are a lot of, of tutorials outside in the internet. Um, even explaining everything uh, step by step. There are a lot of how-to videos. There are a lot of groups and forums that help and explain. You shouldn't be discouraged if you start digital art. Uh, nobody is perfect at the beginning. And you also should not let yourself get unmotivated by people telling you digital art is not art. Another thing for people who want to learn digital art is also to just experiment. It helps you a lot. As you can see right now, probably on my uh, speed painting, I just experimented with this magical stuff uh, you're looking at and I needed to redo it a lot of times just to get the right thing and to make it look good. So even people who do a lot of digital art have struggled sometimes or struggle often. <laughs> with certain stuff because we are all not perfect. We are all not the perfect one who does not uh, does not need to look up anything. Uh, we all need to look up something. If it's shading, if it's uh, how to draw uh, gold or silver or something, it is also not bad to look up stuff. It makes your artwork look better and you improve a lot if you just look at stuff and look up stuff and look at tutorials and try to copy the tutorial for practice reasons. So do not be discouraged if somebody tells you digital art is no art. Uh, just ignore them is the best thing because it's, it's no use to discuss with them or argue with them. They will, they do not want to understand that digital art has an impact on art and that the undo button is not cheating. So basically just have fun with digital art and do whatever you like. Try to experiment, try to do a lot of different art styles and find yourself the best one. Find yourself the best way to draw. 
One day you might think, nah, I don't want to do digital art anymore, I'm going traditional, but you at least know that digital art is art. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, follow me on YouTube to not miss the next video, and on Instagram for updates and finished artworks. And if you have any topics or questions I should discuss, or you want me to make a tutorial, leave it in the comments. Until then, see you next time!